Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO BrickCads review. It's on the Marvel Infinity War Groot Rocket one that was recently released. So, on the front of the box here, well, the large and small two-pack size. The same as the size as the uh, seasonal BrickCads and all, but, you know, but interesting. But on the front you see LEGO, LEGO logo, BrickCads logo, Marvel logo. And then the numbers and names of each one and each set that comes within. And see age group 10 and up. Set number 41626. And has 189 pieces. And on the side of which, a uh, realistic picture, in film picture with the Infinity War logo and all. And on the back, them looking at each other just like the other two packs. And also how you put them on the faces and yeah. Down to the booklet. So, which the two packs of which do come with just one booklet and instead of like two, but of which find quite good saving space and all. So, you see, same pictures in the front and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey and the pieces that come with it. And after Lego Life and the last building steps. So first of which is Rocket Raccoon. So of which built pretty well. So also the base plate of which with jumpers rather than the one by uh, four jumper that there is. But instead two of those so for his smaller size. And as you see with all these small, short ones with a 6x6 six six size bodies, which Yoda will have too. So as you can see, also some good printing for his torso piece. And for the dark blue out. See, so like uh, brown and dark blue and a bit of black and light brown. Quite consistent for of Rocket, of course. And as you see, it has the tail with the RGD2, or I mean, or just astromech droid headpiece for the tip of it, and also one of the balloon bottom pieces is there. Or, yeah, probably like that. And also, unique built gun. To be a little bit longer than most of the Star Wars brickheads. And the face of which, built pretty goodly. As you see, with the Wolverine claws acting as the whiskers, and I think this snout could have been a little longer, like a like a one by one brick to do that. But you, but you know, you can if you want to. And also some good shaping or good snot used for the like his uh, side fur and ears, and yeah, and yeah, I think that is about it with Rocket. And on to Rocket's extra muscle, Groot. The big con with this one is light brown, but not dark brown, which on the films usually is dark brown. And well, but good thing at least has some bit of that dark brown to him. but. Although the light brown kind of works for, for him, and yeah. But also some consistency of the dark brown and the uh, olive green coloring to be like the, what do you call it, uh, moss on him. And kind of well works for him. But also good shaping for the head of which to be like the like, a tree barking uh, around him. And also some good snot back here, and on the top, some of those slopings, and also one of them leaf pieces. Uh, I don't have noticed if Groot ever does have that, but probably something odd, funny to add on. And also a 1x2 tile with the Defender game thing that he is, of course, playing in the film. So like good printing to it. To me. And of course, there's good printed bricks around which you can use for some tree mocks. So if you wanted, oh whoops, 
and also the leaf piece falls off quite easily, which will probably bug you a bit. So now to the final verdict. So overall, this was a pretty good uh, Brickheads two pack of the of the. I like of the large and small size kind of ones, which kind of adds to your Avengers Infinity War or Guardians and Guardians of the Galaxy collection. Hopefully, there will be one of Drax the Destroyer and Mantis next year or so. Then we'll have the complete collection of that, which will be sweet, along with Avengers and all. And if you're looking to continue your collection of Marvel Brickheads, then go ahead and get this. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.